For five days now, these P&O ferries haven't left the port of Dover. They're stuck here, unable to sail, after the company made mass redundancies last week. But for those who worked for P&O, the last few days have been extremely difficult. We met one employee who worked for the firm for more than a decade. He wanted to stay anonymous, fearing he'd lose his severance pay. We've also changed his voice. We were given 20 minutes to pack up our belongings. They hired security and they just lined us all up and escorted us off the gangway one by one. Papers in one hand, chuck your pass, chuck your dock pass in an envelope on the other. And off the gangway, one by one, you went. It was absolutely surreal. I couldn't believe what I just witnessed. And we were left on the side of the dock to just make our own way home, really, amongst ourselves. P&O say the redundancies were a business decision, with cheaper agency staff being brought in instead, amid claims they're being paid as little as £1.81 an hour. No one wants to be replaced by cheaper crew members, but they've been using agencies for years. But before, they used to use agencies that used to bring in British workers who were sea trained, who were quite good at their job, who could fit in quite well. Whereas now, I'm hearing they've got all sorts of people on board. As lorries queued around Dover today, trying to get space on other ferries crossing the channel, the government has given P&O until 5pm tonight to explain its actions and to establish whether it's broken the law. Yes, surprise, because obviously there's laws in the UK that protect employees in this kind of situation. And for the most part, most employers tend to follow those rules um, around consultation, um, giving proper notice and informing staff in advance. So they've got an opportunity to suggest ways of avoiding redundancies and it wasn't followed here. P&O says it acknowledges the distress it's caused staff and has offered them an enhanced redundancy package. But for those directly affected by their actions, the damage has already been done. Catherine Nash, Five News, Dover.